Indian industry must see it as our direct responsibility to drive an agenda of inclusive growth. Improving education outcomes, skilling, affirmative action, increasing female participation in the labor force, and a new social contract to cover most of our labor force is in our direct long-term interest. If we can include most of our 1.4 billion people in our growth and progress, we will create wealth for all of Indian industry and most of the world's industry. Let me tell you a story from the company I work with, Forbes Marshall. One of our most satisfying CSR projects is aimed at enabling girls to finish high school. This project runs in 40 hamlets in and around Chakad, a prime industrial area outside Pune. The residents have a tribal background. The larger hamlets have a primary school within them and most children go to them. But once the girls turn 12 or 14 and need to go to a secondary school, things become difficult. The secondary school is around 8 kilometers away through hilly terrain. The bus service is erratic and not coordinated with school timings. As things currently stand, around 1,000 girls in the taluka, typically one-third, drop out of school between standards 6 and 10. The Forbes Marshall intervention has been very simple. We provide the transport, track the girls' performance in school, and help the school with any facilities it needs. The impact is on one girl at a time. As a result of such an intervention, if those thousand girls in Khet Taluka who drop out instead of completing school each get a good job, this transforms the prospects of their families. Do this with enough families and one builds the community at the level of the whole village. Over time, the village can become self-sustaining. At very low cost, but high management involvement, company CSR can help provide that village by village connect. So can Indian industry help include all 1.4 billion of us in our progress? This book is my answer to key questions like this one about the promise of India. I hope you will find my answers convincing, but I hope even more that this will prompt wide discussion as you seek your own answers to these vital questions. We can then jointly craft India's future.